ready to go try out my new equipment here. They got my backpack and got some new shoes here. I don't know if you can see the shoes, but uh, got the new shoes. So we're going to walk around the neighborhood and test out this 22 pounds on my back and see how well I'm doing. Uh, in preparation for the Camino, going to be leaving here in 22 days. So uh, I'm trying to make sure I've got all the appropriate gear and get the, the lightest weight uh, on my back that I can. So looking forward to it and I'm going to do little clips and keep everybody posted on how things are going. And uh, got my dogs here wanting to know if... Uh, I'm crazy or not, I guess. But uh, anyway, we'll talk to you soon. Here we are walking the neighborhood, getting ready. 22 days before heading out to the Charlotte airport and route to Madrid, Spain. And then from Madrid, we'll go to Pamplona and catch a taxi over to the border of uh, France and Spain to St. Jean P. de Poor, where we'll start our journey uh, walking the Camino back across Spain. So I'm very excited and looking forward to it. <coughs> Testing out all the clothes and the, and the backpack and making sure everything's gonna work well and I'm not carrying too much weight. It's gonna be about 500 mile journey should take us, my son and I, about 45 days to complete the walk all the way over the Pyrenees Mountains to the Atlantic Ocean. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a, a fun journey. So walking again, just trying to get used to this backpack. But uh, I wanted to do this trip about Two and a half years ago when I retired after working almost 32 years I wanted to be able to go and have a good separation from working many many years to you know jumping into retirement but with the COVID-19 and all the lockdowns and everything it's kind of deferred our trip uh, like I said I'll be going with my middle-aged son he's 27 and he was able to get a leave of absence from company he works for so that worked out pretty good but uh so we'll be going over there and uh yeah and enjoying enjoying the journey it's kind of like a physical mental emotional and spiritual journey they call it a pilgrimage so it should be fun and looking forward to it and we'll be taking daily clips so i can share with everyone you know our journey so stay tuned so I'm getting used to uh, holding my camera and walking and so when I get over to Spain I can figure out how to do this without making everybody seasick from watching the videos. Uh, I do have a little phone stick coming to me <clears throat> so I should get that here in another day or two. But anyway, excited about the trip. Uh, my son actually, my oldest son, actually did this when he graduated college. Him and his buddies went over to uh, uh, the same the same route. Flew over to Madrid, went up to Pamplona, and over to southern France, and then began their journey across the Pyrenees all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. So uh, that was a bucket list item for me, and I thought I'd go ahead and do it. Uh, watched a great movie called The Way. I think it came out in 2011. You can check me on that, but. Uh, Martin Sheen and Emilio Estevez uh, di uh, <coughs> directed a movie, and it was really good. It talks about the Camino and the journey over the uh, the Camino Frances. Uh, it's worth watching. It's about two hours long, but it really motivated me to go ahead and buy the backpack and get all the stuff I needed to make the journey and check that off my bucket list. So uh, anyway, I'm going to be doing some videos today just to see how to set up some videos so when I'm over there I can do one each day and kind of push it out to YouTube so everyone can enjoy what we're doing and see what we're doing so we're excited and look forward to talking with you soon